What is going on everybody? This is Bronco Juggalo and I am here with the final day of Wild Eye Week. It is also the Horror Man Slashback Saturday. And guess what? Where I thought I had to do two videos, it turns out I only have to do one. I watched my Wild Eye selection and guess what? It turns out it was a slasher that just happened to have an escape mental patient. The first thing that I want to do is apologize to Mr. Andrew Bellina. I told Mr. Bellina that I would be doing the Hallowed for Slashback Saturday. Well, when I found out that this one actually was a slasher in the motif, the theme of today, I decided to do this one just because it'll save me a little time. Instead of having to do two reviews, I can only do one today. And then I will get to the Hallowed later on. Uh, the second thing I want to do is I want to thank Omnis and Esquire for sending me a couple of the videos that helped with Wild Eye Week. That was very awesome of you, bro. You know how much I appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for being an awesome, awesome friend and always supporting my channel. The third thing I want to do is thank Rob and Wild Eye. It's been a great week, guys. I've had a lot of fun reviewing these films. Uh, there was a couple I didn't like, but mostly, overall, I liked them all. They were a lot of fun. The week was a lot of fun. The reviews were a lot of fun. And it's just been a great time overall. Thank you, Rob and Wild Eye, for being a great company and a great person. Now, one more thing before I get to my review. I stopped at Bethel on the way home from work today, and I found a couple things that I thought I would show off. We're going to start with the DVDs. The first one is this big box of horror. Ten movies, horror movies. Well, this is an awesome, awesome collection. But when I got it home and opened it up, I found out that it only had one of the discs. But that's okay, because it had the one movie I really wanted. This one has Killjoy, Dire Wolf, Occupied, Prom Night, and Prom Night 2, Hello Mary Lou. And the one that I wanted was Prom Night 2. I have never seen it, and I wanted to see it. The next item I picked up was this collector's edition of American Werewolf in London. Uh, an awesome, awesome movie that I don't actually have on Blu-ray or DVD. So I found this, and that's awesome. I'm so glad to pick that up. Getting on to the VHSs, the first one I found is just absolutely cool. Uh, the video was put out by the Sci-Fi Channel way back in the day. But the television show that it is is an old, old live-action Spider-Man TV show. Which was so dumb and so weird, but it is really, really funny. This one is called The Chinese Web, and I'm so glad to have it. The next one is a VHS I already have, but this case is in immaculate condition, and I just couldn't pass it up. It is Young Frankenstein. It even has the little tab still right there that you pull out so you can access the video easier. Just absolutely beautiful condition and a really nice copy. And the final thing that I found was Godzilla, and I will be adding this to a box that I have for a friend. And this is an Anchor Bay release. Now then, getting on with my review, today I covered the 2017 film Inhumanity. Now this is a Wild Eye release, and I actually have been putting this off. I got this in the very first package Wild Eye sent me. And I've been putting it off because after reading the cover and just everything, and then I heard a couple other people talk about this movie, I wasn't looking forward to it. Um, it didn't sound very good, so I kept putting this one off. Well, it just so happened that it's the last Wild Eye film I have right now that I haven't watched or reviewed yet. Until I get some more, which I believe they're already sending me some. So thank you very much, Rob. Thank you, Wild Eye. I am happy to say, though, that my trepidations about this film were not valid. This was actually a pretty good movie. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. And uh, it does have some flaws, and it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But overall, it was a good movie that I enjoyed. It's not great, but it's good. Directed by Joe McReynolds, who also plays a small part in the film. And starring Daryl Danielle as Jessa, our main character. 
Our story is that a woman wakes up from a coma after nearly being killed by a serial killer called Six Pack Sam. Called so because he always drinks a six pack of beers with his kills. She unearths a conspiracy involving Six Pack Sam, the police, a large corporation, and the unexplained and unreasonable suicide of her father. Now, some people might say, well, that doesn't sound much like a slasher movie. Well, this is how it's a slasher movie. This movie is very much akin to the new Halloween film in the way it was done. It is basically based around, halfway around the killer and halfway around the victim. The first victim that escaped. The killer six-pack Sam has been held in a top-secret corporate lab for the last four months. They have been trying to use drugs and therapy and hypnotics to rehabilitate him, to make him a productive member of society, which, as we all can probably tell, does not work. Sam escapes the lab and kills everybody in his way, on his way, to find the doctor who did it to him and his last escape victim. He takes out everybody. He even takes out an entire house party filled with people. And that's what makes this a slasher movie. It is a slasher movie also melded with a thriller and a drama and also a revenge film all rolled into one. And that's where I'm going to start with my pros and cons, guys. And I'm going to start with my cons because that is the first con that I have. It's actually my biggest con, too, is that's where this movie only place where it really failed in my opinion they didn't blend those genres very well the first okay like the first 10 minutes of the movie it sets up our basic story then all the way till about the last third of the film it concentrates on jessa investigating finding out what happened trying to find out what happened to her father all that kind of stuff where sam is all that kind of things the last third of the film is where the slasher film comes in that's where sam escapes and we start to get all the great stuff we love in the slasher movie and it was almost like it was compartmentalized they didn't blend it very well at all in my opinion my second and my last con is the acting of some of the supporting cast uh i do have some pros to talk about with acting but a lot of the supporting cast wasn't very good they were kind of wooden kind of uh bad deliveries and I just didn't enjoy some of their lines, and it would pull me out of the movie just a little bit sometimes. But that being said, those are the only two cons I have. So getting into pros. The first pro that I have is the acting of our main star, Darren Danielle. She was absolutely amazing. I thought she did an awesome, great job, and I really enjoyed her in the role. I hope to see more stuff with her in it. Going off of that, I loved the acting of... Our killer six-pack Sam. Uh, the actor was named Leviticus Wolf, I believe. And I absolutely loved his acting. He was very good, very convincing, and just really entertaining to watch. My next big pro is the gore. Now, where the gore really starts is in that third act. It may be just a little bit more than the third act, the way it feels in the movie, the way it's paced. Uh, in that in that last part, once once Sam escapes, that's where we get our good gore. And it is really good, man. He's got guys that are trying to stuff their own intestines back in. He's got great stabbings, throat slittings, uh, chainsaws, all kinds of good gore. And it is really, really awesome. I really enjoyed that part. I lo that whole third act could have been the movie by itself, in my opinion. Uh, they could have made a slash film, and then they could have made an investigative drama at the same time and did two different movies and it would have been amazing i also really love the way this film was edited and they do some really cool stuff at the end when they're trying to tell you how everything happened and blend all the stories together and where the big reveals and the unfoldings come out and i really like the way it's shot and done visually it's kind of picture in picture but it's blended real well to where one kind of molds into the other and it's really really cool i really enjoyed that uh, another thing that I really liked about the ending is there is a reveal at the end of the film that you didn't see coming, but you have to watch through the credits to get it. 
and it is kind of begging almost for a sequel. You want to know where that might lead. And I really did enjoy that. So overall, I really did enjoy this film. It was not great. Uh, the pacing, it, it kind of hit and missed on the pacing. The first you know, few minutes are pretty good. And then it kind of slows down into a slower movie during the thriller drama part. But then when it comes to the slasher part of the movie, it picks the pacing back up again. And it's kind of hit and miss on the pacing. As I said, the biggest thing is they didn't blend the two genres very well. But overall, I enjoyed this film. It's not great, but it was good. That is my thoughts, guys, on Inhumanity. I enjoyed the movie, and I really, really, really enjoyed doing this Wild Eye Week. And I think it's been a pretty big success. Only one of the videos has not met my expectations and viewership. And it is actually one of the videos that I find that that's kind of sad because it's one of the better movies that I reviewed. And that is The Turnpike Killer. So if you haven't checked that one out, go back and check it out. In fact, I'm going to leave the link to it at the end of this video. Once again, I want to thank Wild Eye. You guys are an amazing company and I absolutely love your work. Thank you so much for being awesome to me, for sending me these movies to review. I hope that these reviews in some way have shown my appreciation. Even on the ones that I don't like, I always love what you guys are doing, and you're absolutely amazing. So thank you guys very much. Don't forget, 500 Subs Contest is coming out on Wednesday. This is Bronco Juggalo saying, peace. Hey,